Welcome, everyone. Um, this is going to be an extension of our global notification. Um, this can also be used in anything else. But basically, what we're going to be doing is I want to first uh, extend our notification. There is an issue. So let's say in our notification or in any text that you put in the game, you have something you want to, uh, let's say, this is notification one very long. So let's say you want to put a lot of text into it, right? But when I do this, it's going to kind of do this, right? Or if I, let's extend this even more to make sure that you guys understand the issue. Let's go one more time. Now, the text is, is resizing itself, right? Because the text has an automatic resizing, but the, the panel is not, or the background that you want to set is not. In fact, this is why I, will, I like to do panel. If you have a custom panel that you have as well, that's totally fine. Um, if you have an image, I would suggest putting it as a theme in your panel so that way it can resize itself as well. Um, but that's like in a different video. So for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our panel that we've created and resize it depending on the, the, the text. So as you can see here in the text, I've already kind of maxed out the top and maxed on the left and the right. So the reason is because as it goes to the right or left, it won't go to here, right? It'll only go to the kind of inside of that panel. And what we want to do is we want to take this panel as the text is resizing and just pull it down essentially, right? And this is actually very easy. So what we're going to do is create a script. I'm going to go built in script and we're going to go into here and we're just going to delete all this. We don't need it. Um, you could probably do this in the ready function because we're actually creating the thing as we do it. Um, but I'm going to just do it in the process function just for the sake of complicity, I guess. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our get node, ah, get node. Um, we're going to get the panel and we're going to change the size dot y because we only want to change the the long version of it for the uh, y axis of it, I guess. And then we're going to set it equal to the label dot size dot y. Now this will give us the exact size of it. So we're going to add like 16 pixels. So now when I try this, it'll give me a very long label or panel. Now on the next notification, there we go. It'll become back. It'll go back to its original size. Now this is awesome, but I want to show you guys another trick. So that was one line of code, and that pretty much fixes our issue. So there's one more line of code, um, or not line of code, but one more trick I like to use sometimes. Um, and I'll basically create a variable called line count, and I'm going to create a line count by saying get node um, label, and we're going to say get line, no, oh, what is it? Yeah, get line count, right? Yeah. And I think this returns a string, which is why we're going to convert it into an integer. So now uh, let's just print out. Uh, yeah, let's just print out the line count. So that way we know what it is. So let's go here. And as you can see, it'll print out four because the line, we have four lines. And so this kind of gives us a cool um, way to do things. So let's say you want to change the position. Right? So let's change the position of the panel. Let's put it down slightly dependent on the, uh, let's actually take all this and say, instead of size, we'll say position dot Y is equal to line count. Or what we can say is we'll say, you yeah, know, let's get the original position. So it's original position is going to be boop, 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 transform dot Y is 64. So we'll say, what did I do? No, that is the size. I want the position, which is eight actually. So eight plus uh, line count. And then we can do line count times like four. So now the position will move by, actually let's do two. So every line that we have an extra line, our position will go up, I believe, which is actually not what we want. We want it to go down. So that our, no, I, sorry, my bad, it'll go down. So as you can see, the, the panel changed position depending on the line count. So let's actually make this like four so you guys can see the difference. So the panel moved down, as you can see. So this is actually a really good trick. Um, what you can do as well is say, let's take all of this and then say minus, and this will move it up, right? So this is actually a cool trick because um, what this does is, let's say I have a player here. So let's say uh, this will be our player. And this is the text notification or the text that that player has. So this is a cool trick that I will use 
to move the text away from the player. So if I want the little panel above my head talking, like a little quest notification on the top of their head, that's what I'll do. Depending on how many lines are in that panel or label, sorry, I'm going to move the position upwards a little bit. And after moving the position of the panel, we also want to move the position of the label. So what we'll do is say um, position. Actually, I'm not going to do that, but because it kind of complicates things and I didn't test this earlier, but that's the idea. So you would take the panel. So you would change the label. You would change the size of the panel and then you would move the panel upwards and then also move the text upwards. And so now you have everything moving up a little bit, right? And so that's how I kind of use that little trick to do that. Um, that's it. Um, it's a very short video today. Um, it was just using one line of code. I'm going to delete this guy real quick because he's not part of the game. Um, but that's it. I hope you guys learned something. Um, this was a very simple way to resize nodes. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys learned it, how to do that. Um, in the next video, I'm not sure what I'm actually going to do yet. I really want to continue the 3D series, but I'm not sure if I will. Um, let me know if there's any 3D things that you want to see. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.